Hey, 5th through 8th grade, my name is Bryce Roberts. I serve MSM as an intern for the Fort Worth campus for Christ Chapel. I'm so glad to be with you guys today to talk about my testimony in light of Ephesians 2, what we've been talking about the past couple of weeks. The very beginning, Paul talks about that we used to walk in the following of this world in the power of darkness and disobedience from the passions of flesh and desiring of, from our own bodies and our own, and our own mind. And this is amazing to see because that's what sin is in a nutshell, disobedience to a loving God from your own desires, from your body and mind. To give the story to this in my own life, the coming conclusions of this, was simply walking with my friend one day, he stole something, and I said, hey, don't steal that, it's a sin. And he said, what is a sin and why would it keep me from stealing? You see, I didn't have an answer for that. And it led me to the very next point in my life, which was, what is sin and why is it so severe? It led me to the cross. I was able to see what sin did to a loving God, someone who didn't do anything wrong. But I also saw that I couldn't deal with it on my own. And that's exactly what Paul talks about in the very next part in Ephesians. But God being rich in mercy because of his great love with which he has loved us, once dead in sin, but Christ made us alive. Together by grace, we have been saved. This is the amazing part about salvation, that God has dealt with sin. That very question led me to the very sight of how I would find salvation in my life, that I would find a loving God that has dealt with my sin in a dark place. God meets us exactly where we're at. The question that was so difficult to answer and I didn't want to have for myself led me to salvation. And this is the amazing part that it didn't just happen overnight, but it was a loving family, but also a loving church. A place where that loved me and showed me forgiveness and grace and taught me truth from scripture. That is exactly what led me to have a built up faith. And the very next part of Ephesians is for by grace you have been saved through faith, not of your own works, but a gift of God. I couldn't do anything for it. I couldn't solve the issue at hand. I couldn't solve my sin. But God died, resurrected, and gave me life. And by faith, I received that. I saw that he was good and I wanted him. The very next part is amazing because it's the part we're living right now, especially if you're a Christian is that we were his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works that he's prepared for us. This is the amazing thing about it, is that his grace that has led me to salvation is the same rich mercy and grace that is now preparing salvation in my own heart every day, and it produces works that are good. You see, by faith I have been saved, and by faith I follow him and I walk in him. You see, we're creating God's image, and now also I'm creating Christ Jesus for good works through faith. And those good works are his character to be like him. And that in itself is grace to others that make them desire the salvation that we have. No matter whether you're at school, homeschooled or not, whether you're around Christians only or whether you're around both, that faith that God works in our own life, right, is the same faith that builds up faith in others' lives. That same grace that's in our life gives grace to others. And that right there makes them desire to want to walk with Christ, know Christ, and be like Christ. That's what I hope for you guys, that you guys would walk in action and teach in truth. All right, until next time.